Greetings friends, my utmost joy to be with you all once again. And I am reading from the Holy Bible, the book of Psalm, and the Psalm is 37 and verse 23. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighted in his way. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. That takes me back several years into my school life. When I was in high school, we had one sir, and he was our PT teacher. It's a physical trainer. And he was so meticulous, so sure, and so uh, perfect in his job that he never compromised. And every Saturday, all our classes were asked to go down onto the playground. And we had classes, that is grades 8, 9, 10 and 11 and each grade had four sections so the number of girls in each section had more than 50 students and we were asked to stand according to our classes our grades and our sections and moreover according to our parties and we had four parties in school and that was green blue red and yellow and I was in the yellow party and I had to stand in that yellow line that that's the yellow badge that we had and the rest of the others also had their own party badges. And we were asked to do exercises. And he was sure that we did exercises very perfectly. He never ever compromised with a single student. And I have always wondered how we used to keep track of each student and so many girls. We were a girls high school. And after the exercises, we were asked to do this march past. And the march pass was not a joke, friends. He was so sure that we st stood according to our classes, that is according to our sections. And then the march pass began. And when the march pass began, it was grade one, then the next followed, then the next followed, leaving space in between the two. And then the entire ground, it was a very huge ground. We had to go one round according to his orders. And he ordered us steps, friends. You know how? When he said left, all the number of girls lifted up their left foot. When he said right, it had to be the right. And even though he was looking that side, but we wonder that he caught anyone who was not doing it the right way. Even if that student was at the back. It's, it's amazing to even remember that. And then there were times when he stood ahead of us. And he did the march pass himself. When he lifted up his right foot without any orders, it was very sure that each student lifted up the right and then the left, then the right, then the left. And it went on. He was meticulous, very sure, uncompromising. And he ordered our steps. And that reminds me of the psalmist who says, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Just imagine when a human being, that's when a man, the earthly man, can order the steps of students and be so meticulous. This is the heavenly Lord God, the Lord Jesus Christ, who orders your steps and my steps. That's only when you believe in him. When you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, he orders our steps. And that is the ordered steps of a good man, because that good man is the man who believes in the Lord Jesus Christ. Friends, let our life be ordered by the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless us all. Shalom.